Justin Kem, and this is Jidechuko and Musa. Mm. And so today we are going to be painting Max. And as we are painting it, we are going to be sharing random facts about Nigeria and Korea. So before we start painting, each of us are going to pick a Max out of these options here. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's mine. mind. Yeah. Mm. It's the angry guy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so we are going to start painting this now. When last did you paint it? Oh, last time. His name is his nickname is Gage. Yeah. Last time I think it was never. So. Never. <laughs> <laughs> did you do fine arts? Well, yeah. I did, but did you I paint? was in secondary school. Secondary school. Yeah, so that counts. Marks of any type are called tal in Korean. Korean marks sometimes come with a cloth attached to the sides of the marks designed to cover the back of the head and also to simulate hair. The marks were often made of alder wood with several coats of lacquer to give the marks gloss and waterproof them for wearing. They were usually also painted and often had hinges for mouth movement. The Korean marks are of two categories, religious marks and artistic marks. Religious marks were often used to ward off evil spirits and the artistic marks were mostly used in dances and theatre shows. In ancient times, they were used in war, for burial rites and for shamanistic ceremonies to drive away evil. The present uses are as miniature marks for tourist souvenirs or on cell phones where they hang as good luck talismans. Ebos have a wide variety of marks. The marks, which are usually made of raffia, wood, or fabric, are used during rituals or celebrations. These rituals and celebrations cover burials, sacred rituals, initiations, and public festivals, which include the Yam Festival, New Year, and Christmas. Made in marks artists favored red, orange, yellow, and black pigments to highlight their carvings, along with other colors and these can be seen on the entirety of the marks. When these marks are worn by masquerade, there is usually energetic dancing, traditional music with a wide array of local musical instruments, grand costumes and songs. Okay, it's a she. Okay, I said earlier that mine is non-binary. I didn't say mine is yeah, non-binary. Yeah. <laughs> mine is a he, and I don't know. I just thought of a clown. A spirit. A clown, yes, or, or a spirit. This is like a jester. This was like a jester somehow, like in ancient Europe. So that's what I thought of, and I decided to give it like a clownish face. And then with the dots, I had seen Max. Show your, show your. 
Blushing woman. The blushing woman, okay. Yes. Blushing spirit, actually. That's going to be the man. Let's see this girl. Mine is blushing. The blushing lady. Okay. Uh, That's her name. That's her name. What to inspire you? Just repeat it. Mine is the non-binary colorful robot. <laughs> okay, did not. I don't look like a robot. Why, okay. why would the robot cry? Yes, actually. Tell us why the robot to cry. Because my robot has emotion. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> You don't save yourself. <laughs> but it's funny enough, but okay. Let me okay. Yeah. yeah, so guys, apart from that, so Max actually, yes, it's, 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 it has a symbol in Korean tradition. This is a Tao Max, as you can see. It's very good, it's made of wood. And that was one of the things that inspired me to do this video to paint mine. I think if I'm going to compare both of them with the dots, the dots are the only similar thing. Similar thing. See? You see? <laughs> Mine looks like it. Yeah, so these marks are really gorgeous. I like them. See this one? And the lips. The lips remind me of, is it? <coughs> There's a particular artist that used to draw characters lips looking like this. But they are so gorgeous. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so thank you so much for watching my video to this point.